Okay, y'all, the tea done came in. The tea done came in. It came in, it came in fast, and it came in hot. If you're new to my channel, hey y'all, like, what's up? And if you already know me, then welcome back. <laughs> what's poppin'? What's tea? <laughs> y'all probably wondering, girl, what the hell is you talking about? Well, y'all, what's poppin'? What's tea is a new segment that I'm starting for y'all to send y'all tea, y'all drama, things y'all need advice on. Whatever the hell you want me to tell the people, you send that to me, okay? And if you want to send anything in, this is the email you send it to. And a quick disclaimer, if you send anything in, you will remain anonymous. Unless you specifically tell me that you want me to say your name or at name or whatever it is. Other than that, ain't nobody gonna know who you are. Now let's get started on the first story. For the first story, she said, this guy keeps trying to take me out. But when we talk, all he talks about is his ex. Let's run that back. Let's run that back. She said, this guy keeps trying to take me out, but when we talk, all he talks about is his ex. Uh, 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 no, no. What is the terms of the relationship that you and him had like? Is he trying to take you out is in a way like he's trying to date you or like what's going on? Because if he's trying to court you or date you, girl, you's about to be in an entanglement, okay? And that is ghetto. First of all, until he got this situation fixed with his ex, he do not need to be checking for you. He do not need to be trying to take you out. Cause now how you wanna take me out? But you're still worried about your ex. Like every conversation we have shouldn't be about your ex. Like, am I trying to talk to you or your ex? Why do I know all this information about her? That don't make no sense. If you really like this dude though, let me stop, like, uh, let me stop being a mess. If you really like this dude and you actually wanna get him a chance, then I think you should just have a talk with him and be like, um, if you really wanna take me out, then you need to start taking me more seriously and stop talking about your ex, cause don't wanna take me out of Not one, not one. Like it's just gonna mess up like the relationship that you and him can potentially have. But honestly, this seemed like a sign that he still wants her or still is just like have this low key obsession with this girl or with his ex and that is, you need to find your man that is free to be, to be dating or to take you out. Unless you want to be in an entanglement. If that's you and that's what you want to do, then go ahead, you know, you know, do, do you know what I mean? <laughs> if you really want to talk to him, then just have a conversation with him, sit him down, whatever you want to do, have a conversation with him, be like, yo, this gotta stop, because if not, then I'm out, you know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta go. But if you really don't like him like that, and he just trying, girl, no run for the hills but honestly i feel like that's the problem with a lot of guys in today's time anyway because if you want to be with me then why am i the therapist for what you've been through in your last relationship like i shouldn't be hearing all the messy tea about your last relationship because now i feel like you're not even ready to be in a new relationship because all i'm doing in our conversations now is giving you advice about your ex it's like what's going on it's not make it's not adding up it's not making any sense if i was in a situation he would not be actually if he's taking you out, that means you're getting free food. That means you're getting a free meal. Hold up, because that honestly might be worth it. A free meal? Like, where is he taking you out? Let's, let's talk about that. Like, where is he taking you out? Like, is it, is it worth it? Because you can get free food and you can never pass out on free food. You know what? <laughs> just, just leave it alone. I think you should just leave it alone. We, we about to move on to the next one, y'all. We moving on to the next one. So the next one says, so I've liked my neighbor for like one and a half years, months. I'm not sure. She said she liked her neighbor for one and a half. It could be years or it could be months. But now I'm starting to like his brother. 
But the thing is, is that most of my friends still think I like my neighbor because I haven't told any of them. So they keep trying to tell me I like him when I really don't know if I like him anymore. So can you please give me some advice? So let me get this straight. So for one and a half, maybe months or years, I'm not sure because you didn't specify, you didn't like your neighbor. So let's just say the neighbor name is John. So what you're saying is now you like John's brother. But your friends keep saying you still like John, but you're not really sure you like John. You like John and John brother. Okay, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like we're getting somewhere. Okay, we're getting somewhere in this story. Actually, I'm about to see if she messaged me back because I really want to know if, I want to know how long she didn't like this neighbor. If, if it's one and a half months or a year. Okay, y'all, the tea done came in, the tea done came in. It came in, it came in fast and it came in hot. So one and a half years, she said. She said one and a half years. Okay, so that's different. Okay, so you like this boy for one and a half years and it's obvious that he wasn't like giving you what you needed because how you like somebody for one and a half years and it didn't go nowhere like it didn't get no like what was going on like so now i'm starting to see why you started liking john's brother because obviously john wasn't giving you what you needed to get okay and if you ain't getting what you need to get then you need to go get it from somewhere else and if that's john brother then you gotta go get it from john's brother okay and don't even let your friends try to persuade you that you still like john because obviously you don't okay you, you just gonna have to leave John alone. But the only thing that would make it crazy if John know you like him, if John know you like him, and then you try to get with a brother, then um, I don't really know how that's gonna go, okay? <laughs> I'm really hoping that John don't know you like him. Girl, if John know you like him and you better go with the brother, then that'd be some crazy stuff, okay? I need to know more. But I think you should just go for John brother because obviously it's been one and a half years and John ain't giving you what you need. Sometimes you think you like somebody, but really you just like them because you either see them a lot or they near you a lot. Like I done had crushes on a thousand and one people and, I, and I'm just looking back, I'm like, I ain't like not one of y'all. Honestly, honestly, it's, it's a couple of ways you can handle this. First, you need to tell your friends, unless you can't trust them, well, you need to tell your friends, period, to stop saying you like somebody when you really just, because I feel like they can confuse you. Like, friends can really confuse you. And so it's not best to get advice from them all the time. So I think you should just go with how you feel, go with how your gut, like, just go with your gut. Like, do you like John? Do you like John's brother? Like, just ask yourself that. And then whoever you choose, that's that's just how you're feeling. Don't let anybody else distort how you feel. And the second thing I have to say is that you should just go for John's brother because it's been one and a half years with John, okay? And obviously you you just not getting what you need. So if you starting to like somebody else, you can't really control that. You can't control who you like and don't like. And if it's John's brother, then it's just gonna have to be John's brother. Who gonna check you? It ain't John, cause we gonna have to jump John. We will jump the hell out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, but also if John knows that you like him, then you probably should tread lightly with, you know, transferring yourself over to John's brother. Just because I feel like that can get messy for him and his brother, for you and him and his brother. It just, I feel like a lot can just go wrong if John knows that you like him. But even if you're, even, 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 even if he knew that you liked him for that year and a half, he should have done did something. So no, I take that back. Because if John and you liked it for a year and a half and he ain't even, no, girl, go hit the brother. Go hit it with the brother. Tell your friends to get correct. Go hit with the brother, cause ain't no way. Ain't no way, especially if you know. But if you don't know, then it's just an easy transference. Like just like, by doing like, hey brother. That's, that's just what you gotta do, okay? That's what you gotta do. I feel like I didn't give some good advice today. Like. I feel like the advice that I gave is just going to, you know, send you far, you know, because why wouldn't it? I feel like it's 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 really that simple because you're really not feeling John no more. What can you do about that? Let's have to move on to John's brother. It's very simple and in your face. It's just like, hey. And I hope y'all know this man. I don't know this man's name. I do not think it, I just made up John. I think you should talk to John's brother because at the end of the day, you don't like John for a year and a half. And obviously during that year and a half, it didn't go where you wanted it to go. So I feel like you can talk to John's brother as long as John, you can talk to him regardless, but 
It'll be easier if John don't know you you done liked him for a year and a half. So girl, go get you any man, you know, tell me how it goes, cause I really wanna know how it goes or let me know how this went. Like how this went for you. Like I need to know. Like I need to know more information. Like I need you to DM me some more tea about this. Cause even though this this is over and I done gave you the advice, I wanna know what happens from the here or out. Like I need to know the tea because now I'm interested. Like, I want to know what's going to happen between you, John, and, and John brother. I need to know the tea. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. This is my first time doing what's popping with tea. It is a new segment coming onto my channel. I'm going to try to drop a new episode or something else. Like, I don't know. Episode seems dramatic. But I'm going to try to get a new video with this segment each week. I do have a lot of drama and tea to spill in. Ugh, y'all, this segment gonna be good. Like, this is just the beginning of what's to come for this segment, girl. Like, if I need y'all to send me the drama, the tea, the messiness, everything, and stuff you need advice on, just everything, okay? Because some of the stuff y'all sent, I just know it's gonna take a whole video for me to just talk about that one thing, okay? Y'all just gonna know when it's like a whole video thing that I need to make for that, or if I could just put it into one video. Y'all just gonna know. But yes, if you wanna send any tea, drama, anything you need advice on, like whatever you wanna send, make sure you send it to this email. And make sure you put as much detail as you can because I need to know every single detail. Like I need you to tell me the juiciness of like the, the 411 because if I ain't got it, it's gonna be hard to give you the best advice I can give. So you gotta drop all the tea, you gotta spill all the tea, okay? <laughs> I'm just so excited for this segment like I feel like I enjoyed myself I can't wait to see how far this goes and if y'all like it period and if you made it this far if you're not subscribed to my channel then girl what is going on I'm gonna go ahead and see y'all on the next tea time y'all bye <laughs>